Have you ever listened to Miranda Barbauer? She's not your normal youthful lady. Miranda has claimed to have murdered over 22 individuals in the United States and has indeed alluded to herself as a serial executioner. Her story has cleared out numerous, pondering how an ordinary individual might commit such intolerable acts. In this video, we'll take a closer see at Miranda's life and the occasions that driven to her stunning confessions. Get prepared for a chilling and captivating story that will take off you addressing everything you thought you knew about the human intellect. Miranda Barbauer could be a title that got to be notorious within the United States in 2013, after she was captured for the killing of Troy LaFerrera. The case of Miranda Barbauer isn't as it were captivating, but too exasperating because it includes a youthful lady who claimed to be a serial executioner with more than 20 casualties. This paper will look at the foundation of Miranda Barbauer, the points of interest of her wrongdoing, and the repercussions of her confession. Miranda Barbauer was born on December 1, 1994, in North Pole, Alaska, United States. She was raised in a Christian family with her guardians and more youthful sister in North Shaft Gold Country. Be that as it may, her childhood was not without its troubles. She had endured discouragement, self-harm, and had a disturbed relationship with her guardians. Her mother, Elizabeth Dignitary, was an extraordinary artist who had a few run-ins with the law, counting charges of prostitution and Medicaid utilize. Her father, Sonny Dignitary, was a previous worker in the oil industry who had been in inconvenience by the law for a few times. At the age of 19, Miranda Barbauer cleared out her family and moved to North Carolina to wed a man she met online, Elliot Eli. Be that as it may, their marriage was short-lived and she moved back to Pennsylvania where she met Troy LaFerrera, the man she would afterward kill. On November 11, 2013, Miranda Barbauer, at that point 18, a longtime ancient, and her spouse, Eli, were driving around trying to find somebody to victimize when they came over La Ferrera. They tricked him into their car with the guarantee of sex, and after that, they drove to a separated spot. Concurring to her confession, Miranda over and over cut La Ferrera, whereas her husband strangled him with a line. LaFerrera's body was found the other day, and the police rapidly distinguished the couple as suspects. Miranda Barbauer was captured and charged for the murder. Within the weeks taking after her capture, Miranda Barbauer made an arrangement of stunning claims to the media and the police. She claimed to have slaughtered more than 20 individuals, all as a portion of an evil religion. She said that she had begun murdering when she was 13, a long time ancient, and she had traveled to the frozen north, Texas, North Carolina, and California to commit murders. These claims were met with skepticism by the police, who might not discover any proof to back her explanations. They started to explore her claims and inevitably concluded that she was lying. By the by, her story captured the consideration of the media, who named her the Craigslist Executioner due to her utilization of the online classifieds location to discover casualties. Miranda Barbauer's case started a national wrangle about the almost mental ailment and the passing punishment. Her attorneys contended that she was rationally sick and ought to not be sentenced to passing. They displayed proof that she endured from schizophrenia, dissociative character clutter, and post-traumatic stretch clutter due to her disturbed childhood. Be that as it may, the arrangement argued that she was fully aware of her activities and that her claims that she was a serial executioner were a ruse to avoid passing sentence. In September 2014, Miranda Barbauer argued blameworthy to the kill of Troy LaFerrera and was sentenced to life in jail without parole. Her husband, Elliot Eli, was moreover sentenced to life in jail for his part in the kill. The case of Miranda Barbauer could be an appalling one. It includes a vexed youthful lady who claimed to be a serial executioner and whose claims captivated the consideration of the media. 
Whereas her claims of being a serial executioner were eventually debunked, her case raised imperative questions approximately mental sickness and the criminal equity framework. The story of Miranda Barbauer serves. In conclusion, the case of Miranda Barbauer may be a chilling update of the awful results that can emerge when people with psychopathic propensities go unchecked. Whereas her claims of being a serial executioner may be troublesome to confirm, her behavior and the rough violations she has committed are evident. Barbauer's story, too, sheds light on the significance of early mediation and mental well-being services for those at hazard of locks in in savage or criminal behavior. It is, as it were, through appropriate back and treatment that ready to hope to avoid future tragedies like those committed by Miranda Barbauer. Eventually, the case of Miranda Barbauer may be a haunting reminder that the fiendish can take numerous shapes and those who endure from severe mental well-being issues require our consideration and back. It is our duty as a society to require activity to avoid encouraging hurt to blameless casualties and to supply suitable assets for those battling with mental sickness. By doing so, able to honor the memory of Barbauer's casualties and work towards a more secure and more compassionate world for all.